in the lab or something. We just like to be We live, we live, we live. We got the eclipse coming up. It's already starting to get gray. The sun has almost got it covered. Now they said that we're supposed to be in the total blackout. But I don't see it happening. I think it's just going to get gray. But we're supposed to be in total black. Hey, Uncle Lou, welcome in. Welcome in. He said, is it sunny there yet? <laughs> I'm going to tell you what. When that thing was starting to come over that sun, boy, it got bright. I'm extremely bright. It's starting to get dark now. Uh, let's see if we can find this camera. Get it over here. Let's see if we can put this on this camera and y'all can see something over here. Let's see if y'all can see a little something, something. There's the sun. What's it's almost got it covered. It's almost got it covered up. That's how much is left. Hello, Miss Becca. Too cloudy here, but getting a different type of dark. <laughs> Oh, it's got a weird light shining down through there now. Oh, it's getting dark now. Oh, it's just about got it covered up. Bye-bye, son. <coughs> it's getting dark, folks. See the porch lights on? Look, look how bright that porch light is. It's like it's starting to get dark out here. It's getting dark. It's getting dark. Hey, there's River Rat. What's up? Rat Rod. Too cloudy there. Hey, Possum. I missed anybody. I'm sorry. <laughs> I do apologize. But it's getting dark. I'll show y'all something. It's gotten dark enough. You can't see it. This camera has got plenty of light. But I don't know if y'all can see it or not. But there's a street light on right there. <laughs> the street lights came on. So there, look. <laughs> My solar power light, night light came on. Hey, there. Look at there, Uncle Lou. That's, that's my wife's new car. Hey, there's Alvin Lewis. There it is. Hey, look here, babe. You can sit good. Come here. Well, I'm looking at it without my glasses. You're supposed to be doing that. Why? Well, it's blacked out. There it is. And that's as dark as it's going to get. I can't see it. It looks like the sun is out. Oh, yeah. It's in full mode eclipse. Well, I can't see nothing in these glasses. Let's see. Let me see here. Nope. Them glasses are dark, ain't they? Yeah. Oh, you need to get a picture of that. That's pretty. I can't get a picture. My camera won't get a picture like that. Some cameras' phones can. My Apple phones are good on it. Hey, but I see a star or a satellite. <laughs> they said we can see There's stars, but all I see is man made satellite. It's getting dark. Here, see if my phone will take a picture. All right. Hey, Rick. Nope. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it shows a black dot. <laughs> That's it? Yeah. Oh, well, it's dark, folks. It's bedtime. Oh, time to start yawning. You're hey, here's John Oler. 
Hog Homestead, what's going on? I posted a picture of it on my Facebook page, but I just used my phone. I'll have to go look at that. Moon over Miami. You're going to put your eye out. I don't know how you're going to put your eye out when it's blacked out. It's just got a little white ring around it. The, the rays are not even hitting down here. Oh, it's starting to lighten up now. You mean it's starting to lighten up? See, it's lightening up. It was supposed to stay dark for four minutes. No, it's supposed to last it for four minutes. Yeah, you're right. <coughs> it was a lot darker than that last clip, wasn't it? It don't give you total blackout darkness, but it gets you dark. Everybody saying hello, everybody. At Casino Hotel Buffet, got the t-shirt, got mooned on the casino, glasses headed outside. <laughs> there you go. It was actually darker here, but I was in a direct path. Yeah, we're supposed to have been in the direct path, too. And uh, Jonesboro is in the direct path. And we were, uh, it got dark. And I can see it going across there right now. Sykes is in the dark. The 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 phone, you know how the phone is. I mean, it, it don't it don't do it justice when you got it live like that. Because your your phone on your camera pulls in all the light it can get. Well, well, it's leaving, folks. Now's the time you don't want to be looking at it. <laughs> That's for sure. No, I wish I hadn't looked at it. It was solid light. <laughs> But it's pretty though. It was very pretty, but I didn't. I didn't take a pretty picture. You got a black dot. I do have that. <laughs> it's just that big old sun bright ring around it. Add concrete. I like to go a little further. Yeah. And then you're gonna put my last one back up and make these steps. Probably take about six, eight bags. And that's it. Probably because I don't remember. I think I put three or four to each slab down through there. Yeah, but I need it raised up to this top. Oh, yeah. that's concrete truck. <laughs> the song picture. 75% now. Woohoo, yeah, John, it should be getting dark on you. You missed it, Joey. It was dark. It's going away now. <laughs> It'll be the last one in our lifetime, folks. Maybe not Rick. Rick ain't like 12. <laughs> be the last one in my lifetime anyway. I've seen several of them in my life, but I think the darkest one I ever seen was out in Arizona. Or California. It was dark. Now nah, it got dark on that one. I think the phone took a pretty good pick. Not a NASA camera would, <laughs> but it did good. Hey, that's cool. I'll look at it on there. I got you on Facebook, sis. I'll go watch it. I'll go look and I'll share it out. Mine won't take, mine will just show just like a blurred sun blob. <laughs> <laughs> There you are, Rick. You're 12 with a full-grown beard. <laughs> but it, 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 the sun was extremely bright before it happened. I mean, very, very bright. And then it just started turning gray. And street lights are off now. Uh, I saw you last night at the hotel. Knew every girl at the hotel. I haven't seen the sunshine. See that a picture away. I wonder where you've been. You sing the song. Yeah, that's right, Wolf Dean. I am two years old. I act like I'm two years old sometimes. You might not know. Zoom your phone all the way in. You will see a box show up on your screen. Put it in that box. You won't know unless you know this. Yeah, I seen that. I've done that and I took it and it's still. Kind of blurry. It's kind of hard for me to hold it up and hold that thing over it too. 
is they said that you want to put make sure you put one of them filters over your camera lens i don't know I don't know if I got scores right, but close. <laughs> That's right. I didn't even have time to make a thumbnail. John Orr was going to go live. I was going to go up panel with him. and uh, But he got a call. He had to go to work. So I decided I'd go do it for him. It's not a total eclipse here yet. I tell you what, I think it's moved completely out. I mean, it, it came in slower than what it is going out. Going out is pretty fast. Oh, no. Looks like the thumbnail's gone. Still up here. Ah. Yeah, it's still up there. It ain't going away completely. Well, there's Stuart. What's up, Stuart? I used a kissing counter to protect my eyes. I I should have done something like that. Well, how you been, Miss Becker? I hope all is well with It's pretty neat. I liked it. I've only been in one darker than this. Like I said, it was out in California. We was in school. We made our own little things. And uh, y'all know there's a river rat. Thirty chat. How you doing, river? Yeah, rat rods here. He should get Bank Angler of the Year coming up on Golden Whiskers. Somebody wants to nominate him. Oh, my idiot chickens ain't doing anything different. <laughs> well, they're supposed to run around and poop out constant eggs for 30 minutes. Everybody else is having a big old party because of the deal. I'm out here washing vehicles. I'm out here washing this thing. Oh. I told my neighbor that I heard. If you raise your arms up high, you can see it better. He says, really? I'm going to be looking to see if he sees his arms. Up. <laughs> <coughs> you ever told him to cock your head one side and cluck? Or crow? Let's see if we can get John Order up here. I don't know he's on the road. People shoot on far worse journey. Now I hear the fire engine sirens. Yeah, people are stupid. You come to see the eclipse, not fireworks.
I don't know if people get any chance or excuse to shoot off fireworks because they are cool. Yeah, my solar nightlight out here was turn, turned on. The street lights turned on here. I'm using my glasses and a black towel. <laughs> Got a weld helmet. You can use it. Cut torch lens. Don't use nothing less than a number 10 on the weld helmet, though. Bank fishing adventures. Yep, sun is coming back now. Yeah, it's getting a little brighter, a little bit at a time. I just looked up there. It's probably still got three quarters of it covered up. Well, howdy, Miss Becca. Hi. <laughs> I just got you, people haven't watched it yet. You can use a thin leaf. Even if you can find one like an oak tree or something, you know how they have the little, the little veins in them. Yeah. And you can look through a thin leaf, or as I said, you can get your colander, um, you know, strainer, or whatever you want to call it, and look through them. But um, I mean, it was as I said back in 2017 when it happened. I posted as I said, I posted the picture, right? Well, uh -huh. here, you know, leading up to this, I'm like, what is the big old hoopla about everything? You know, I mean, it's just, it's like, it just gets a little cloudy and that's it. That's all, that's all you see, right? So, um, but that's, that was back in 2017. I was like, I just didn't really get it. I just didn't understand, you know, why people were so, you know, like wanting to drive 10 hours to see it. Now I still wouldn't drive no 10 hours to see it, <laughs> but. Well, there's people here that drove further than that and. And they're paying up to four thousand dollars a night to stay in a hotel. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not going to do that for you know just a couple of minutes of <laughs> of you know darkness. No. I can turn the lights off and have that. But um, <laughs> but anyway. So, but since I was in the direct path this time, I thought, well, I mean, it started getting you know it started getting darker and everything, and I thought, okay, I'm gonna go outside. I'm gonna look, and then I came back in here and got my phone so I could take a picture of it. And now I see what they were talking about of why it. I guess kind of like what the significance actually was. I mean, it really, yeah. as I said, now here it got pretty dark. It was like, it was like the sun had already set, you know, and it had already been set for a little while, but right before it turned like into night. Okay. Yeah. So that's, that's about how dark it got here. And yeah, they um, said that this one right here was uh, different than a, your average. Uh, hey, Jimmy. Uh, eclipse that if you look instead of just having the ring around it it was it was uh with the flares it was having it was had like it looked like lines of a star um, on my picture it's got the um it's got the i don't it's i mean you see you see the big black dot <laughs> or the circle and then you see the the glow like right around it but then you see that ring going beyond that as well yeah so, and then you see the little kind of, um, whatever you call those that kind of go out from it. As I said, my phone actually, I mean, I, I'm kind of pleased with, I mean, it's not, it's not like when I take it of the moon and I can see the craters in it because you're not, yeah. you know, you're not going to be able on that. You ain't going to be able to see the little craters in the moon, you know? Yeah. Y'all want to um, see a good picture of it, then go to, uh, Miss Beckett's, uh, Facebook page and just look at it. I mean, she said she got a picture downloaded. Here it didn't even have a it had a ring around it, but it had points on it like you would see. You ever seen Good Morning America? How they got the sun and he's smiling and or the sun and it's got the little points around it. Well, That's yeah, like we drew when we were kids. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. This one has all those little you know the little thingies on it too, but it's but it's beyond the you see the you see it you know you see the like in but like this. You see the you just go look. You see the moon, and then you see like the sun around it. But then you see the ring around that, and then you see the little the little thingies go off, you know, from it. Yeah, they said if you had the telescope with that filter on it, you can zoom in on it and see the uh, the points that are shooting off of it. They you could see them moving. And uh, oh yeah, that's what I said. I, I didn't have no NASA thing, you know. <laughs> yeah. But it was still. Um, well, it's like I mean, a. Ho ho uh, Hoagie said. Uh, I said it just got dark, like there was a big thunderstorm rolled up. Yeah, that's about how it would be if when a 
when the thunderstorms roll here and it's dark clouds, it gets dark. <laughs> you see, don't understand the science in these glasses, but I sure look cool wearing them. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy said it's getting dark at Portsmouth. Which uh, J Dog gets on me because he's funny because I say Portsmouth. I say Portsmouth. <laughs> That's what it looks like, Portsmouth. <laughs> he said, Oh, it's Portsmouth. I said, I don't see an eye in that. He said, oh, it's Portsmouth, ain't it? That's Portsmouth. That's what that's how they pronounce it. Back row. There ain't no eye in that. <laughs> That's why I say it. I, I don't, I mean, there's no way and I'll get out that I would sit there and drive, you know, as I, was, I mean, just except for the time span between them, you know, uh, now this one wasn't too bad. I mean, this was what 17, uh, what is that? To 17, 20, that's what, seven years. Yeah. Right? Old. Yeah, yeah. But the next one's supposed to be in like 2040 or something. Yeah. Oh, I thought it said 2040 something. Oh, it might have been. <laughs> I heard 20 something four. Let me look uh, at that. I know uh my wife stayed home today because over the Madrid they was flooded with tons of people. And they had on top of the levee overlooking the Mississippi River there, they had all kinds of booths and barbecues and all that set up up there. And I'm thinking now like <laughs> it says it won't it won't be visible again from the contiguous U.S. until August of 2044. Oh, there you go. I'll be gone by then. Yeah, but this time, that that time, the totality of it will only occur over North Dakota and Montana. Okay, <laughs> so it's not like it was here. Maybe that's why people, you know, wanted to sit there and do this. Um, yeah. But the next, but the next uh, total solar eclipse with a coast to coast path, you know, spanning yeah. the whole lower 48 states, that'll be in 2045. 2045. Yeah. Yeah, I'll be long gone. My grandkids will see it. My kids will see it probably. It's only 20 years. <laughs> <laughs> I keep having these surgeries. I won't last that long. <laughs> well, you know, you have to keep positive. <laughs> yeah. I mean, don't don't die yet on me. <laughs> Are you still so out? That, I, you're not still mm -hmm. out in Texas. Yeah, I'm back and forth. Um, my truck's uh -huh. in the shop right now. My uh, I was oh, almost I, I was almost no longer. I almost the Lord just decided He wasn't ready to take me yet. I guess, but hmm. um, I uh my brakes went out on my truck w while I was driving. Oh wow. And I went through this intersection because I couldn't stop. And because, you know, you, you don't, I mean, it happens right then, you know. <laughs> and so, because you can use your emergency brake, but, you know, when you're doing all of that, it happens so fast that it wouldn't have mattered if I pulled on it or not. Um, but anyway, I mean, I kept my head and everything, but man, the, the cross traffic, they were going, you know, it was so fast that, I mean, they just missed me by inches and it, I, I wouldn't have survived that. I wouldn't have survived that speed. I know I wouldn't have. So. <laughs> In 2024, they will have to wake us up from an afternoon nap at the old folks home. <laughs> you want to see that eclipse? I've not seen more in my lifetime than you have. <laughs> Let me sleep. <laughs> he said, I got a free t-shirt from the casino. Right, my said, brother. What's up, Mama Lou? Yeah, I've done yeah. seen. Me and John Orr was talking one day about how many he's seen and I've seen. I think I've seen between four and six, somewhere in there. I can't remember Zach, but I've seen quite a few of them. Hey there, Mr. Bob. How you doing? All I know is before the, the sun, before that moon started covering that sun, all that sun was shining bright. Y'all want to see some pretty grass, man? Look at that. Nice and thick. Very nice, rustic. And then you look over there and it's like, ugh, all that died out for some reason. <laughs> I got to replant all that. <laughs> but I got all that growed in. Yeah. So how you doing, rustic? 
I'm doing okay. I went to therapy this morning, and then uh, now I'm washing vehicles. All right. <clears throat> I got half my van washed, and I got to turn it around and wash the other half because my hose ain't long enough. Sorry about yeah. that. I had to let the phone quit ringing. <laughs> <laughs> so, did you get hurt? Oh, you get hurt? Uh, during that, no, because I said I kept my head on it. Um, yeah. But I did get hurt. Uh, what was it? Not before last. I tried uh, moving a piano by myself. Yeah, I tried. You know, I tried lifted it, and I hurt. You know, I pulled some muscles in my back, and I don't know, it could be a pinch nerve. I have no idea. But anyway, I pulled muscles in it. And then when Ooh. I tried to, when it happened, then I kind of, you know, how you kind of like, oh, you know, and stand everything in that moment. Then I stepped back and I tripped over a box and I went down and I hit my head. And I mean, it was just, <laughs> it was like it was like I looked at, I was probably like in a cartoon or something. But so I'm pretty, um, it's it's hurting. Oh, I imagine so. Nice. Yeah, I survived the wreck and had the whole wreck in my own house. <laughs> <laughs> Rebecca, oh. you're younger than me. Shoot fire. Um, hi there, Mr. Well, you're both younger than me, actually. Mr. Bob says we can't talk to each other because we're all dead. Huh? <laughs> oh, is that Bob? <laughs> Is that are you are you referencing? I've heard been hearing people say something like it was going to be the end of the world or something. I mean, I think all the crap. Yeah, like. yeah. I call them extremeless holy rollers, and they're the ones out here hollering the end is near, end of the world, and stuff like that. And I'm like, okay, <laughs> if that's what you say, so buddy. Yeah, I just call them nut jobs. I just or call them Holy doodles. I can't believe I don't judge them on it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we uh, we ain't doing nothing. Supposed to have a guy come here and look at my boat. <laughs> Maybe he'll take it. Maybe he won't. I don't know. Oh, he's about 30 minutes out. Uh, answer him back here. Bob said the world ended because Rusty farted. Well, yeah, but that means the world would end like every day. Yeah, yeah, that's true. And there ain't nothing wrong with farting. Everybody does it. Everybody does it. I don't know. I got a few folks that swear they don't. No, oh, I know there's some women out there that no, they don't want to admit that they fart or whatever. But you know what? It happens. Everybody gets gas. You know, some oh, sometime yeah. or another, everybody gets gas. And unless you're eating exactly what your body mm -hmm. needs and it's perfect. Because if, it, if it's perfect like that, then yeah, you won't get gas. But if unless you're eating perfect, then yeah, you get gas. And some some women say, no, we poot. We do not. We fart. <laughs> you know what? Sometimes we let out perfect tens too. <laughs> Earth shakers. We seen John Saturday night on uh, Fish Nation. He was real muddy. And he, he said, I got a bike. It says, it's going down. It's going down. He went to get it. And by the time he said it was going down, he went down. <laughs> and uh, we was teasing him all night long about uh, I said, well, I bet they New York felt that aftershock. They're getting scared. <laughs> <laughs> and 922, Bobby, he was saying, John just created a big crater. Oh. So they're going to charge him to fill that hole back up. Yep. It is a human function to work. Hey, they take out 18 inches of colon. <laughs> Sometimes you just can't help it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but what gets me are the people that fart and then they go <sniffs> like they want to smell it. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I watch people I, do that. 
I can understand laughing, but wanting to smell it? Heck no. <laughs> hey, you watch them sometimes. If you're just like a people watcher, you watch. They'll sit there and fart, and then they'll kind of just smell it to see, well, wait a minute. Does that smell bad, or how does it smell? Or <laughs> Not me. I start fanning, especially if I'm in a vehicle with somebody. I start fanning. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, if I'm in a vehicle with somebody, unless it's a public bus, I yeah, go and yeah. just fan it right at them. Not me. I'll sit there and say, hey, y'all think that was, what do y'all think that was between one and ten? How do y'all rank it? <laughs> I always say, well, that was better going down than coming out. <laughs> I tried my best, yep. okay? <laughs> if I'm going to do it, I might as well do my best. <laughs> I don't fart in public, but I have been known to stop dust and run like a head. <laughs> mm -hmm. You have to see the John Orr post that Facebook out there. Okay, I'll go look in a little bit. I think I, I probably miss uh, all of them, but I think I see most of them. <laughs> yeah, I just told that guy, so I still own that boat. I was at the bank. The bank's closed today. I hope they'll get them till tomorrow. Mr. Jimmy said he just walks off. He does the silent one. He just, he just, he forks and then just kind of casually just strolls right off. Like, what, me? Yeah. Crop dusting. Yeah, my sister-in-law do that. She'll be in Walmart and she'll be like 30 feet down the aisle and all of a sudden she'll start Taking legs out, looking around like anybody's looking at turn down the aisle. By the time you get down there, it's like, holy moly, it's in my mouth. Oh my God. Not me. I'd sit there. I'm, if I was in Walmart or something, I'd sit there and I'd yell out, clean up on all 10. <laughs> oh, Lord. Hey, I was at Cape Walmart one time. I went there and grabbed the phone. I said, prompt. And it was loud. I didn't think it'd be that loud. But good Lord. It was so. <laughs> I don't know. It, 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 I thought I could have shut the, shut the building. I thought, I looked at my wife and said, Why'd you do that? I didn't think it'd be that loud. <laughs> Mr. Gray Wolf said that there's a hit upstate New York. He got pitch black almost like it was 2 a.m. Yeah, that's what I was telling him here that it, it did get dark. Now, it wasn't a 2 a.m. dark, but it was, um, it's like the sun had set and right there before it turns like just into perfect night. Yeah. That's how dark it got. <laughs> hey, I got dark enough here to turn the street lights on. Yeah, it turned my barn. It turned the barn lights on. It, it got a little dim like it was about, I don't know, 530, but it wasn't too bad here. Yeah. Well, we was right on the edge of the total blackout. Just um, by the river over there, it was more like a gray light. But we was right on the edge. If we was a little bit further over, if I was up towards Sison or something like that, it would have probably been pitch black because it was... Because I can look when it passed here, I can look for Sison and it was total darkness over there. Yeah, that's why that's why I wanted to go ahead and take that pick because um you know it it as I said, I was in the direct path this time and not 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 in it. And yeah. So and it was worth it since I was I was right here. Because man, I've been putting even in a chat box, I've been putting what's the big hoopla on this? I mean, it just it just looks like it's cloudy because I was remembering the last one. Oh, and yeah, uh, but now, as I said, now I see, now I see what everybody's talking about, you know, as far as when you're in the direct path. Yeah, I told her, I said, she goes, where are you going? I said, I'm going outside to get my pot before anybody else takes it. She goes, well, you own the property. I said, you don't know how people are. <laughs> now, I think it was a little bit uh, obsessive for people to start shooting fireworks and guns and everything outside. But Yeah, that's kind of oh, yeah. silly. There. That's people who don't need to breathe. Yeah, but then again, they do that all the time. I mean, I mean, they don't, they they can do it here, you know, and they do do it here. 
but it's not like, I mean, you could obviously tell that was because of that. Oh, my goodness. Gray Wolf. <laughs> hey, brother, Gray Wolf. He said, y'all make the wishes. Wish was the sun passes. Yeah, they said he's supposed to be able to see the stars. Well, I didn't see no stars. I seen a man-made satellite up there. <laughs> hey, y'all know what they say about wishing, right? Wish in one hand, reach under with the other and see which fills up faster. <laughs> Unless you don't order and you crack quarters. Yeah, that's true. You don't blame me, ask Fresno. <laughs> Red <laughs> Red <laughs> would take trap and come back with a quarter. <laughs> Out of the middle of nowhere. Well, I guess I'm going to have to jump down. Um, I just wanted to get up here and just say, you know, what all what all I saw here. That's cool. That was awesome. And I appreciate you coming from this, Becky. Yeah, and I wanted to let people know that still, you know, I mean, obviously it's pretty much uh, no people. I think I don't know if people are still seeing it or not. If it's already hit New York, um, oh, well, they're, they're still seeing it across there. Yeah, I but I just want to tell if anybody's out there, you know, things that they could use if they didn't have any glazes. See, they say we have we have tons of we have several bunch of different eclipses throughout the year. But most of them's overseas and nobody sees them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They so in other words, we just don't we oversee them. <laughs> yeah, we, that's a good one. <laughs> nice. Yeah, Miss Becky, come visit us on uh on Fifth Nation sometime. I go in there sometimes. Come up on panel. Give John a hard time. <laughs> <laughs> like y'all don't already give him a hard enough time. <laughs> well, you're welcome being up here on the panel anytime. Same yeah, old mind, Miss Becca. Uh, yeah, well, you know, we just jump around, get around. He said somebody's um, mic sounds like horses galloping. Yeah, I hear that too. I'm on my laptop, so I know. Um, I know it's not mine. That was Rick. Whatever he was doing. Hey, Sorry, my voice went a little Joey. deep for a minute. Y'all look. Hey, Joey. Joey came in. I know hey, Miss Joy. <laughs> she said we ain't dead. <laughs> I did post a picture of it, Miss Joey, on my um on my Facebook page. Yep, that's right. I was telling them, Miss Joey, that back in 2017 when it happened, you know, we weren't in the direct path. Like, like, like what was this time? And um, so I really didn't get it. I just really, I was like, oh, it's okay. It's just, it looks like it's cloudy outside. That's about it. And, yeah. um, but being in the direct path now on this one, now I see what everybody was talking about because it, it really was a beautiful sight. Um, I was telling Mr. Rustic that I, I wouldn't drive no 10 or 20 hours to go see it. And he said, some people pay $4,000 to get a hotel or something. I wouldn't do that, but no. Not at all. Could you imagine how much that is a minute? <laughs> like they told me, said, you come up here to the Madrid where you can see it real good. I said, I could see it from my front yard just as good. Oh, yeah. I got free access to food, drinks, and the potty. <laughs> well, you're not going to need it. It only lasted a couple minutes. Yeah. <laughs> if you can't hold it for just a few minutes, something's wrong. We need to get you some deep ends. I hear you. No, don't, don't say that. Bob will be trying to fill up peanut butter. <laughs> <laughs> He's trying his best to get somebody to do a diaper peanut butter challenge. Oh, Lord. Mr. Bob says in 2017, everything went totally black for seven minutes there in Northwest Mid Missouri. Yeah, that's what I said, y'all. I know that's what I said. I just didn't, I mean, here it didn't do that. You know, it, it barely even got cloudy. I mean, it did. It got cloudy or it seemed, I mean, it looked like it got cloudy. There was no clouds, but I mean, that's what it looks like. Yeah. So, yep. That's right. Yeah. You, you only want to use the glasses 
when you watch it go to get to the center, then you can take the blast off and look, and the sun's rays won't hurt your eyes because the sun's rays are not coming down on you. And you can see the, the center of a lollipop. <laughs> and, uh, when that sun starts peeking out behind that moon again, you better put them glasses on if you're going to watch it leave because it's going to burn them retinas. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Mr. Bug, I put a picture on my Facebook page of it. There you go. <laughs> that bring it why do? Why would I want to put peanut butter in my diaper? I mean, honestly, why? <laughs> I if I'm gonna do that. I'm just gonna fill it up with the real thing. I guess that's the way him say. If I win, he beats crap out of you. I don't know. <laughs> Why, why would I want to waste that much peanut butter? Yeah, it was cool, bug man. I like it whenever uh, it gets pitch black like that on the eclipse. I think I like peanut butter too much to sit there and, and abuse it like that. You know, you can see the clips every night about two o'clock in the morning, run outside, look outside, look up. Oh, it's dark. Run back in the house. What do you have to clip? Wake up, son. Look. Yeah, the, the coolest thing about it, it's like I said, they only make you work. You, should, you only should wear them glasses when the clip starts coming over. When it gets full coverage, uh, there's no sun's rays that hurt your eyes. And it was weird how the, uh, the rays, you look at that sun, it's all yellow, but the rays coming around that moon, hitting that moon, and going around it, it, it was just bright, beautiful white. It's the point of having to walk around in it, and it oozes out. <laughs> you want some damn with that? It does that anyway. What's the difference? <laughs> 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 Sorry, y'all. I know I just gave y'all a mental image. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. One thing about Fish Nation, we we giving people mental images all the time. They say, oh, TMI, TMI. Eh, I don't care. <laughs> this is Miss Becca. I always give TMI. Miss Joey says that the Eclipse 2024 Yontas, Texas t-shirts will be marked down 75% tomorrow. <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> Kmart's still around. be a blue light special. Do they say, I survived the Eclipse 2024? <laughs> <laughs> oh, but not I mean me, Mr. Bug. He said he'd drive a thousand miles to see it again. I I wouldn't. No. Not not when it only lasts just a few minutes. I I you mean I I can see pictures that there were live streams going on. The news stations were covering it. There was even a live stream going on of somebody up in an airplane that was that was up there taking it from up there, showing it. Huh. I mean, seeing it in person is. I mean, it is. It is a sight, you know. Now, if I was some kind of scientist or stuff like that, I'd probably say, yeah, you know. But yeah. I'm not. I'm just a good old country girl. I, I say, you know, I see the sun and the moon all the time. About a lot of kids, even though just about, what was that, seven years back, we had that one that come through here and just turned everything like a gray light. Everything was grayish color. Mm -hmm. and this one was dark, and these kids have never seen that. You know, that that's something they'll remember the rest of their life. Like I said, I I've still, seen some of them, and I still, when it gets dark, like when it comes to being a dark one like that, I get excited about it. Oh, thank you, Mr. Bob. I really do have fun with those shorts. <laughs> I mess with them so much. Country girl with beautiful eyes. Yeah, he's talking about my shorts that I've been putting out. I do have a lot of fun with those things. Yeah, but you could not feel the temp drop. Well, the temp dropped here a little bit. They said, you're going to drop 10 degrees. No, it didn't. 
<laughs> yeah, I should say it, it didn't do that here either. No, didn't but here it's, either. It's like 80 degrees today. They said, you're going to be with the crickets, right? Cricket surfing. But did you know during that blackout, there was not a bird flying or a bird chirping? That, that was strange. Before that, bird flying everywhere. And as soon as it got dark like that, I mean, there wasn't even a bird flying. Matter of fact, I had to get the lawn mowed this morning because um, we're supposed to have some bad storms come through tonight and with more hail. We had uh, almost tennis ball size hail reported a few days, a few days ago with those storms that came through. Yeah, just north of us around Cape, they had some uh, uh, golf ball size fell. Uh, we missed it. It split, went around us. But uh, they're, they're calling for start tonight or tomorrow, a uh, 90% chance of rain next three days. Nine, two, two. We was talking about you a while ago. Hey, there's Clyde. First time catching me. Let's, let's get Jack Sidney. Welcome in, y'all. Yeah, that's why I got this to me. Do I have No, they're at the bank. The bank's closed. <laughs> hey there, Mr. Clyde. Hey there, Miss Sandy. I mean, if he wants, I can. When he comes here, I guess I can call and see if the bank's open, and we can run over and get the title. But I'm pretty sure unless I heard the bank's closed. Man, I got. I still. I'm still picking out the uh, limbs out of my hair, and. Uh, you know, when you mow, you know, you got, you know, the dirt and, you know, grass and everything. It just flies up on you. I hadn't taken a shower yet. And so I've got my back scratcher out because I'm in a tank top. And I got my back scratcher out trying to get my back's itching because of the, um, <laughs> all the stuff that, you know, was flying around. Yeah. I just hope that this, the, the soreness, I mean, I had to mow, you know, but um, I just hope this. I hope I didn't do something bad. You know, I hope it was just pulled muscles. Yeah. Man, that's a More heavy like pen. It. That belonged to yeah. my grandparents. Bro. To be honest with you, I don't even, after trying to lift, it's heavy. Golly, that thing's heavy. Um, I, well, I want to take it with me, but, but you know how you just, I, can, I want to take it, but Sometimes I don't want to. <laughs> I got to run down and take that fish finder off. Don't bear with me. I might cut out. I'll be back. Well, y'all, I'm going to hop out of here. I'll see y'all later. Huh? Are you a rabbit? Rabbit? <laughs> you said you're going to hop off, like. Eh? You know, rabbit. Oh, dag blame it, Miss Bega. <laughs> <laughs> well, was that, that hopping noise, you know, that you do? Da -da 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 -da. Mm -hmm. No, that's that's the chicken. Uh, what's the other one? Where it goes pop, 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 or oh lord, I don't even remember. I don't either. I remember doing it as a kid, yeah. That was a long time ago for most of us, me included. Mr. Rustic, Mr. Bob says, you just need to let it go with the boat. I don't know. Just let the boat go. No, I, oh, I, you know, I think you're talking about your fish. I think he was talking because you said something about your fish finder. Oh. I bet you that's what he's talking about. Let's see. Can you hear me? Yeah. No, we, we can't hear you. Uh, <laughs> 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 Let me see here. Uh, Hi there, Mr. Mark. There's Mr. NJ in the house. Um, uh -oh. I was telling uh, I was telling them here. I was in direct path this time. So it was actually a beautiful sight. Um, I mean, it actually did get dark and, you know, the whole nine yards. 
And Mr. Mark, if you do want to see it, or if you want to see a better, I put a picture of it on my Facebook page. Now, I can't let this go. This is my coffee. Let's pull them over to uh, sit by here. Hey, Mark and Jay. Miss Skip Jack Cindy. 922 Crappie Barbecue. You know, that sounds like some kind of name, NJ. Crustic Becca Wolf. Look <laughs> 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 like a nickname. Where's that? <laughs> Crustic Becca Wolf. <laughs> That's yeah, that's funny. Funny. I'm about to see him up in Um. Oh, there we go. Um. <laughs> just a head or uh, just a quick reminder, y'all. I will be live at 5 a.m. Eastern Pacific tomorrow morning. If y'all want to check in or listen in to it. Yeah, this is the one I use right here for property. I'm not letting this go. I'll let the one on the dash go. But... Looks like I got a couple more deals here. I got to take off and watch it. But all right, y'all. I'll see everybody later. Okie dokie. You have a blessed day. You too, Miss Becca. Good seeing you again. I ain't seen you in, or really talked to you. And Lord, I don't about? even remember you how saw, long. You saw me like a day ago or something. I ain't actually talked to you, though. <laughs> well, you I mean, unless you're on panel, then you don't talk to someone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's fair. I mean, I do have a habit of hopping up on panel and not talking, so. Oh, not me. I hop on panel and I, that's all I want to do is talk. Well, shoot. Bang. <laughs> <laughs> I had a thought and my dag blame mind went blank. I love doing that. I've loved doing that ever since I was a little girl. Every time somebody said, she, hey. <laughs> Aw, thank you, Miss Joey. I sure do have fun with those things. Mr. Bug says he wonders if it affected the fish bite. Well, Mr. Skip, Clearview Outdoors, he's out there fishing right now. And um, the last time I the last time I looked in there, they had caught eight um, total. I think the biggest one was like 21 pounds. Wow. Yeah, I think he's out, he's out there fishing um, his, uh, I think he said his cousin-in-law. Um, is out there fishing with them. Law, right? Yep, I saw his uh, thing come across. I haven't looked in on his, Mr. Bob. He said Dominic is out fishing right now, too. Um, I did see it come oh. across. My, yeah, I did see it come across my phone, but I hadn't. The notifications, for some reason, for me are, um, I'm not sure if they're doing it for other people, but when somebody does like a live stream, it's not notifying me until right after it's over. You know, normally it would, you know, it notifies you either, you know, when it, you know, when it starts or usually within the first 10 minutes, you know, of when the live stream's going. But for some reason, it's coming across my phone as after it's done. That's weird. I know. Then again, it has happened to me too. 
lately. So. Yeah. Now, uh, my other notifications are doing pretty well. Uh, it's just the live streams that seem like they're doing that for me. Mr. Bob says he ain't received a notification in over two years. Dang. Well, you do have to turn them on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just Joey one says, more. Screw tube <laughs> has been extra weird. <laughs> Screw tube. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, once again, because I think my phone froze up there when I was making my little announcement. Please let me know if it didn't. Uh, um, no, I heard it. I heard it. Okay. I mean, you can, yeah. say it, you can say it again. There's a few more people in here. Yeah, I will be live tomorrow morning at 5 a.m. Eastern Pacific time and place a hog leg because he's on vacation. You might so, want to go drop your link in the in the chat too. I dropped it that's in the a chat. Good the idea. Other day. Yeah, I dropped it in a chat the other day. Oh, thank you. <laughs> well, I didn't good. even see it. Uh, I didn't I even know. I don't remember whose live that was. Hello, ready? Let me go drop it in the chat real quick. Uh, let me remember how to do that first. Hi, Mister Rusty. Um, there's Mr. Josh Amherst in here. He says, how you doing, Rustic? Long time no say, brother. Who? Josh Amherst. Hey, Josh. Yeah, long time no see. How you been? <laughs> I'm doing good. My shoulder's starting to heal up a little better. I can move it a little more. It's still painful, and I still can't reach around and scratch my butt, but uh, it's getting there. <laughs> and I, I know Mr. Bob. I know they were on. Man, all I liked in this boat was a uh, freaking change the carpet out, and it'd been perfect A1 condition. All this work I've done. Mm. Mr. Bob, what was then? Why are you pregnant? Was that the announcement? <laughs> no, I ain't pregnant. Shoot. I ain't even got a woman to get pregnant. I said, if he was pregnant, he'd be rich. <laughs> sure, right? I'd be looking for a certain star, though. I do need to rename this real quick, so give me a second. What you want, Big Bowie? You want some Peyton? You want some Peyton? Oh, take my Big Bowie. Yes, it is. He's my big bully. Yes, it is. Miss Joey says, stop being a baby, Rustic. Deliver a 10-pound baby. We talk. Miss <laughs> <laughs> Joey says, stop being a baby, Rustic. Deliver a 10-pound baby, then we'll talk. <laughs> uh, I can't repeat the last. I just imagine her push, push, no, stay in. <laughs> hey, it looks like the man's at the house. I guess I'll run over real quick. Yeah. I can see it being a male doctor. <laughs> she, there's he sitting there saying, No, you need to push. And she turns around to him and says, You push this out your little hole. <laughs> mm hmm. All right, let's see if, no, wait a minute. I don't think it'll work from there. You want me to drop it? I've got it. Miss <laughs> Joy said, push, no morphine. <laughs> I had morphine once um, after a surgery, and it made me sick. 
Of course, I think they gave me a triple dose of it, but it did. Yeah, it does. Sick, so I don't think they'll use it on me anymore. Well, I'm not a moderator, so I can't drop it. Here, I'll go drop it. Thank you, Miss Becca. Hey, y'all, bear it back. I'm going to go show you this boat. Fine, leave your own live stream. <laughs> there, there, it's in chat. Um, Thank you, Miss well, Becca. Miss Joey, I think, that it's, I think they just gave me too much of it. As I said, they, it was a while back, and um, they, um, they gave me like triple of what they were supposed to have given me. So I think it was because they gave me too much. But 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 because I did get sick, and they always ask you, you know, do, did you ever have a reaction, you know, to it or to any kind of medication or something? I always tell them about it. But I really just think that they gave me too much. I do know that uh, the anesthesia. I tell them, man, if I have to go under anesthesia, I've had to be under anesthesia so many times that uh, they say that you get more sensitive to it the more times you're under. And um, I tell them, you know, afterwards, I'm like, I ain't ready to get up or I ain't ready to do this or whatever. And they're like, oh, no, you're ready. And I said, no, I'm telling you, my body's not ready. And uh, of course, then I start up checking everything, you know, because it was not ready. And so I always tell them. You know, before I go under, I said, make sure you pump me up with the most legal amount, you know, that you can of that, like, anti-nausea stuff. Because I know, I mean, I already know it, it's, I'm so sensitive. I went, my brother had a, had a surgery and um, I went into the recovery room, you know, just to see him after his surgery. And I couldn't even take being in the room because I smelt it and... I, I got sick just getting into the room. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's pretty bad. I mean, all you got to do is smell it. Hey there, yeah, Carter. How you doing? Hey, Carter's Custom Lures. Mr. Rustic will be back momentarily, I think. He said something about his boat. I don't know. Hey there, Mr. Billy. How you doing? Win? Hey, That's Billy. A whoopee injection. A whoopee injection. You know, or whoopee you, Goldberg. Or are you saying it more like whoopee? <laughs> <laughs> You have to clarify that, Mr. Ball. This is me up here, you know. <laughs> we ain't all exactly there at the moment. I'm always here. I know exactly where I'm at. <laughs> that ain't what I meant. I don't claim to be anything but me. Yeah. That's true. I and one other individual self-identify as uh, assholes. Well, everybody's got one. Yes, and I use it quite often to fart. <laughs> Mr. 922 says my ex-wife was in labor for my oldest OBGYN in between the stirrups. Look at nurse say, boy, I starve and I wound up with broken ribs. From laughing so hard. <laughs> mm. Mm. 
how could you be in this? How could you be looking down there and say, oh, well, I guess a man could say I'm starving. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Bob says it's like when they did my back. They gave me four injections to numb it, and then they put the 10-inch needle up my spine, and it wasn't dead yet. Oh, Mr. Bob, that happened to me. I had I had an eye surgery, and um, so they had to dead, you know, they deaden your your eyeball, you know, so, you know, that you don't feel everything they're doing to it. And um, so anyway, I was in that uh, chair, and... All of a sudden, I saw the needle start to come to my eyeball. And I said, am I supposed to be seeing that needle? He says, do you see it? I said, yeah. Otherwise, I wouldn't ask you. And he said, he goes, uh-oh. <laughs> so uh -oh, I, would have, I would have felt every bit of that if I hadn't have spoken up. Oh, yikes. That's just gross, Mr. 922. <laughs> Of course, to each his uh -huh. own. You know, to each his own. It, anytime I've looked at having surgery, I've asked them, "Can you just hit me over the head with a frying pan?" Then they couldn't charge you for that. I know. Precisely. <laughs> well, yeah, because then they'd have to go buy a new frying pan. But I know. <laughs> My head would dent it. I have never been shy about admitting that I'm hard headed. Stubborn as daggum you. Ugh, I need a nap. You need a shot of espresso. No, I need to take a shower. <laughs> That's what I need. Get all, this grass <laughs> Get all this grass and stuff off of me. Yeah. That is one thing I do not miss about living in the big city is that I ain't got to cut the grass. Then again, though, I do miss it. Hi there, Mr. Eddie. How you doing? Mr. Bob says normally they wait after the numbing injection to let it work, but they didn't wait on me. And that was two years ago and the injection still isn't healed yet. Oh, the injection site. I'm like, wait, wait a minute. Two years and you still ain't felt it yet? <laughs> hey there, Ari Smith. How you doing? Hey, Rebel River Cats. Hey there, Mr. Ernest. How you? No, I'm sorry. Hey there, Rebel River. How you doing? You said, Mr. Ernest, and I started to say P. No. Worrell. No, that's wrong. There's two rebel rebel ones. Yeah, there's 217 Rebel, and then there's uh, Rebel River. Oh, Lordy. Uh, okay, Mr. Eddie just said he just got through watching it. Yeah, it came through Texas. It's been through Texas, though, already now for, I think it came through like at 140, I think is what actually happened, uh, Central Time. And so, but Mr. Eddie, I did put a picture of it up on my Facebook page. I liked, I liked it this time just because um, back in 2017, I really didn't see the significance of it, okay? Because, I mean, I wasn't in the direct path. Nothing really. I mean, it just like it got cloudy and that was it. Um, but now being in the direct path now with it getting dark and, you know, actually seeing it like it was, now I see the significance as far as, you know, since I was in that path. Now, there's people that drove, you know, 10 to 30 hours or something to see it, and I wouldn't have done that, but... But uh, but it was a beautiful sight to see since I was right there in the pan. So if anybody didn't get a chance to see it, then uh, as I said, you can go over to my Facebook page and look at it. My phone took a pretty good picture. I mean, it ain't perfect. I told everybody earlier, ain't NASA perfect or anything. But <laughs> he got the point Ms. across. Miss Becca, I bet you your picture was a lot better than my short that I put up. You put a picture of your shorts up? 
<laughs> no, the the short that I put up of the eclipse. <laughs> that gummit. I was going to say, I don't think I want to go see that one if you put your shorts up there. <laughs> oh, hey there, Miss Jody. How you doing? <laughs> hey, Miss Jody. I think so too, Miss Joey. As I said, I really didn't. I was, I was, I really didn't get the hoopla on it, you know, because I was like, people are nuts, you know. I mean, it's just gonna last a couple minutes, and you know. But now that being in the direct path of it, then now I do see it. And I really wasn't even going because I didn't think it was going to be that big of a deal. And I went out there and all of a sudden I was like, well, dang, it is getting dark. <laughs> so I came back here and got that phone. <laughs> yeah, I'm surprised it got it got as dark as what it did. I know, right? I mean, making it look like it's evening time, like dark 30. That ain't right. Oh, it got more than that. It, it, as I said, it looked like it was fixing to be nighttime. You know. Yeah. Well, I mean, they're in the direct path, sure, but mm -hmm. here in Denver it got about dark thirty. As I said, I just still think that they were way overboard by shooting off fireworks and everything for it. I mean, good grief. Oh yeah. By the way, uh, did y'all happen to have any electrical issues? You mean besides our electrifying personalities? No. Yes. <laughs> um, <coughs> no, excuse me. Why would we like, gotta have electrical issues? Shoot, our our uh uh the street lamps went off. Well, that's because they were confused. <laughs> no, I, I'm I'm talking about the uh not the street lamp. Sorry, the uh. Well, shoot. Stop. Bang. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was talking about the stoplights. They turned off. Oh, I don't know. I wasn't around one. Yeah, I mean, no, my, our, my, barn, my barn light came on. No, our, our stoplights, they went and started blinking red. As if the power had been cut. What'd you do? Go out there and drive around? And, you know, you're supposed to just stand still. No, uh, I actually live in the city, and there's a uh, there's a stoplight about I don't know, fifty, sixty yards. Oh, you're just looking out your window, then? Yes. Well, like, I stood outside. Not eclipse law. <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, I stood outside, you know, in the parking lot, but Man, yeah, I it was. The city. Whew, couldn't do it. That's right, Miss Joey. We ain't got no stop lots till Dallas, sixty-eight miles away. Uh, I Ms. wish Jody, to God uh, I was in the country. I'll tell him that you said he's he's showing somebody his boat right now, so he walked away. He just left. He left his own live stream. Can y'all believe it? Ridiculous. Man, I hear the doves outside. They sound so sweet. I love listening to them. Yeah, Miss Jody. He just left his own live. He just said, "Screw y'all." I, I got to go show my boat. <laughs> you insignificant little peasants. <laughs> Those were his exact words. Eh. So. <laughs> <laughs> but y'all don't tell him I said that. That'll be the first thing I say when he come back. So how dare you call us insignificant little peasants? <laughs>
man, I could listen. I really could listen to those doves all day long. I could never get tired of it. Doves, chickadees, uh, cardinals, all of them. Yeah, I mean, they're all different. I mean, but the doves, it's just such a soothing sound. Oh, yeah. A lot better than a dagblank goose. What's wrong with a goose? Them things are mean. <laughs> mean is not how they sound. <laughs> mean is being actions. I'm talking about the way they sound. Okay, in that case then, uh, just talking about their sound, their honk is annoying. Well, sometimes I honk. I guess I'm annoying too. <laughs> I'm trying to help it. Miss Jody says, I wish I had brought my boat home. It's beautiful outside. I could go fishing after work. It is really pretty outside. Oh, oh thank you, Mr. Carter. We're trying. Oh, Mr. Billy, he's singing when doves cry. Oh, they ain't crying right now, though. I think they're. I think that's a little a female up there. She's wanting some nookie. Mm. Oh, that could be a male up there. He might be wanting some nookie too. <laughs> oh yes, sir, Mister Rabel. He says he likes listening to the Bob Whites and Whipper Wheels. Um, I used to uh, raise, I had over 5,000 of the Bob White quail. They were in a flight pen out here in the backyard. Boy, when they all got going, mm -mm, boy, they were sure party. I used to go, I used to go bird hunting, you know, until I started raising them, obviously. But um, somebody asked, somebody once asked me, they said, uh, man, we are talking about when you're dressing them out, you know. I said, man, that's a lot of ammo, you know, to for all those because there was like five thousand of them. I was like, if you don't do that, you just yank their heads off. <laughs> you don't put a bullet in. I mean, when you're raising them, yeah, but when you're bird hunting, yeah, you do shoot them. But when you're raising them, no, especially I said when you have five thousand of them, you you just yeah, just break their neck. Open up the one of the barn uh, door stalls, you know. Put some uh, yeah. put some uh, shavings in there, you know, just to kind of soak up the blood. Put some shavings in there, and then you know you pop their head off and you you throw them in there. And um, but I mean, we sold them too. We sold the trios. Yeah. Yeah, I had those. I also had uh, the um, the uh, what are they called? The uh, pharaohs, and then I had the um, what are those little great ones? Um, oh, there was another one too. I don't know. You're the one that raised them. The Bob, the Bob Whites were the ones that most people wanted because they're meat ear. Really? Mm-hmm. Interesting. Yeah, they're fatter. They're fatter. Yeah, now the whipper wheels, those, those actually sound really party. Oh, yeah. I love a whipper wheel song. Well, y'all, we didn't know he was going to walk away. Well, y'all ready for the uh, planting season to come in? It's already starting. Oh, yeah, that's right. Y'all has already started. Mine's just now coming in.
sadly. Well, I ain't painting anything right now because I won't be really? here. <laughs> no, I won't uh, be here. I'm moving. I oh, mean, really? Probably, I mean, well, yeah, I've been moving for a while. It's just been taking a long time to get stuff done and finished up. And so I'm back and forth right now. Okay. Yeah, I'm leaving Texas. Well, where We're are you transplanting to? Arkansas. Oh, Lord. It's hard to be humble. <laughs> oh, yeah. There ain't nothing wrong with Arkansas. No, just the football team. They are such nice people there. Yeah, the folks are great, but the football team sucks. Well, I don't care about the football team. <laughs> now, to me, there ain't but one football team that should even exist, and that's the Alabama Crimson Tide. Oh, whatever. Hey, look, I'm an Alabamian through and through. I mean... I may have been born in Harris County, Texas, but I was raised all my life in in Alabama. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm Miss Joey, most of Arkansas plants Mother's Day. I'm not understanding that. Most of Arkansas plants Mother's Day. I don't know. Most of I don't think there's a word no word missing or something. Mr. Mr. Lee. Arkansas. That's all a lot of people say. Holy crap, he's back. Yeah, I'm cool lose. Oh no, rusty. Yeah, wait, so wait, I told everybody that, that you left us a while ago, said, you know what? All y'all insignificant little peasants aren't good enough for me, so I'm leaving. <laughs> no, we told him that you went and showed your boat. Oh, and Miss Jody said hi, Mr. Rusty. Oops, hang on, y'all. I gotta let that finish ringing. Oh, they don't plant till Mother's Day. Okay. Hello, hello, hello. Right. Hello. Okay, I get what you're saying now, Miss Joey. <laughs> yeah, I tried to start it up for him. It clicked. And I said, I had one rise. The battery's unhooked. I guess it sat there and went dead. He goes, he goes I've seen your last video. He said it. You was out running across there pretty good, and I said, "Yeah, it runs good." Mister, <laughs> Mister <laughs> Lee, Uncle Lou said, <laughs> "Rusty, man, did this guy get screwed when he bought that T-shirt? They forgot to give him the muscles." <laughs> oh, I got it working. I guess you also have, um, I think. Right, that came in after you walked away. Uh, you have Carter's Custom Lures, um, Mr. Billy with Cold Creek Cat Fishing, Mr. Rebel River Cats, Miss Pontoon Jody. Was there anybody else? Uh, Leon just came in, Mr. Eddie Gross, Mr. Ari e. Smith. Now I'm going to have to scroll up because that's all I can remember now. Oh, Mr. 922. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. Golly, you've been gone a long time, Mr. Rusty. <laughs> Dang, Rusty. Oh, Miss Sandy, Skipjack Sandy came in. Okay, and then there's Mr. Josh. Okay. Yep, and Leon Life just came in, too. 
What's up, right? old Leon? Barely hey, rusty. Cutting in and out. Where are you going to anyway? Shoot, he's going fishing. There you go. I can hear y'all now. Crap, that scared me. That's my own phone. <laughs> uh, hello, everybody. Sorry I wasn't around, but I was uh, in the process of selling that boat. And besides, you right know, I love, that, I love that boat. I put a lot of work in it. I put a year's worth of work in that boat. Well, almost a year and a half. And I uh, got to take it out five, six times, eight times. And I caught a fish every time I went out, except for the very last time when I tore my arm up. And uh, But if I keep that boat, I don't – I want the pontoon, and I know I won't ever get a pontoon if I keep that boat, so. Plus, when you owe a lot of taxes, you got to pay them somehow or another. So now this gives me a good excuse to look for a pontoon. Yep. Well, Rusty, where are you headed off to? To the bank to get the title. All right. But, yeah, I'm going to send up a blue shirt like that. So let me see what you look like in it, big boy. Shoot, I ain't got no muscle neither. <laughs> I got muscle, it's just covered in fat. Hmm. There you go. Well, all right, y'all. I really am gonna get out of here now. So I hope everybody has a wonderful rest of their day, and I will see y'all tomorrow morning. You're asking a man who only buys half a shirt where he's going you don't even know <laughs> <laughs> i take it y'all seen my bed as i was going across here uh -huh. oh did i wasn't even listening did you sell the boat yeah i seen what he wrote no i'm saying did you sell that boat oh yeah i did didn't want to sell it, but I want the pontoon. Plus, right now we're needing to make the uh, uh, tags for the cars, uh, $1,600. And then I owe, uh, I think it's like 24 in property taxes. So well, that, sometimes, sometimes you got to do what you got to do, you know, to get, you know, the things that you want. <laughs> but yeah, and another reason why I'm kind of glad I sold it because. Now I can look for the pontoon I'm on. Because mm -hmm. I really didn't need a boat in the pontoon, even though how bad I was wanting the pontoon, but I've already had a boat. Yeah, unless it holds some kind of a, you know, something close to your heart or something like that, then I mean, well, sometimes does, you, but I'm not a real sentimental type of guy about nothing. Uh, well, then that's what I'm saying, you know. That was the first boat I ever owned. Well, that's the second boat I ever owned, but that's the first one I completely restored from front to back. And uh, then sold it to a guy, and he destroyed it, and I got it back, and I'm trying, I was in the process of restoring it again. Well, I wish I could restore myself from front to back. Uh, yeah. <laughs> That's where an extra set of hands helps. Well, where are you going now? I'm headed over here to the matter to the bank to pick up the titles. I don't keep stuff like that at home. Plus oh, I, owe, I see what you're saying. Yeah. Yeah, plus I owe a little bit on it, having it paid off. And I done called my banker. He's getting the titles out. He's getting them ready right now. I told that guy, I said, it's going to have a new set of tires. I said, they're good tires. They just got cracks in them. I said, I don't know how much longer they're going to last, but I ain't had no problem with it. I said, just uh, so I was gonna put new bearings, new tires on it, new carpet this year, and uh, then it'd be top notch ready to roll. Look, do all the way, and he said, I, I can do all that. I'm like, okay, 
but I'm not going to do it for 2500 <laughs> Mr. Bob says, heck no, he's not sentimental. He'd sell my butt in a heartbeat. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't get much. Uh -huh. <laughs> yep. Well, like I said, y'all, I'm going to get out of here. Okay, Bob, ready. Leon, Uncle Lou, Becca, Rustic, y'all have a good day, and I'll see y'all in the morning. All right. Hopefully. All right, Rick. All right. Take it easy. Yes, sir. Y'all too. I'd probably get more money out of his uh, his little pictures he drops on Facebook than with him. <laughs> yeah, Mr. Bob, something else. Yeah, I want him to make sure he tunes in Saturday night. He's going to love the intro. It ain't gonna be nothing fancy, but it's gonna be a party. <laughs> party interesting. Well, I need I do need to get out of here, Mr. Rustic. All right. So um yeah. So y'all all have a blessed day and I will see y'all on the flip side. Toodles, y'all. All right. Bye, Miss Beck. Appreciate you coming up holding chat for me. Mm -hmm. You have a good day. So you won't miss me, Rick. <laughs> oh well, I guess I can. I can always use that Ranger boat to get that pontoon. That's sure. It's time to start it for it. One thing I need to do. I need to find a starter for it. I've been out on that Mississippi River and that Ranger boat. I don't like to, but I've been out in it. Take up sunglasses off so I can see what's going on here. I have nothing to do with the making of this introduction of the Fish Nation channel. Hey, this ain't the Fish Nation channel here. This is Rustic Outdoors. You had everything to do with it. Hey, Robert. Yeah, I sold it. He's behind me now. He, we're going to the bank to get the title to it. <laughs> I'm trying to get over there before, they, before he goes home. Running about 70 and a 55. Praying the good Lord don't get pulled over. <laughs> I knew when I put it on Facebook Marketplace, it wouldn't last long because I'm known in the areas here to selling big ticket items. And they go fast. Then I've sold campers, cars, all kinds of stuff. Welders. Yeah, <laughs> Bob Luke. <laughs> I need to go see that cat, man. He just wants to sell me his boat now, and I can't afford it. Well, I got, I got at least uh, nine, eight, seven more months to find what I'm looking for for my arms. My arm heals up completely because I'm not getting out of no boat unless I'm with somebody or something like that on their pontoon or something where I got more room to move because I don't want to take a chance of a wave coming up. I reach out with that left arm and then rip that stuff back apart. I ain't doing that. 
because I was uh, almost on the verge of taking that boat out. <laughs> no, I, no, you're not. No, you're not. Uh, let's see here. Ain't nobody coming. But, uh, folks, I'm going to get off here, and I'm going to get over here to Madrid and get these titles and stuff. So I will see everybody either in the morning or possibly around the chat somewhere. Y'all have a good day and have an awesome weekend. And, and uh, weekend, what is this? Today's Monday, ain't it? That's an awesome week. I tell you, I'm already past my days. But y'all have a good one, and then I'm going to be getting out of here. Thanks, everybody, for coming in. Take us!